another video. I hope you're having a fantastic time zone whenever you're sitting down to watch this. And we're back with more nostalgia. Today, we are going on an adventure to travel through time with Putt-Putt in Putt-Putt Travels Through Time. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't remember too much about this one because I don't think I played this one in particular as much as our last one, which was Putt-Putt Saves the Zoo. So I'm actually really excited to kind of hop back into this and see what the story is like. I Obviously, we travel through time, but what, what times do we travel through? Do we go to the past? Do we go to the future? What's in store? Let's hop into the game and find out. That's the butterfly from I Goes to the Moon, isn't it? Is that, a, is that a sign? So I'm gonna report? wonder. My okay. Calculator and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Oh, fun! Pep's like, nah, man, I'm sleeping. Oh. Can I have the money? Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. Correct. All right, let's Come head on, out. Pep. Let's go see Mr. Firebird. I don't think he's going to trust Pep with anything after the last time that we saw him. Here we are, Pep. It's Mr. Firebird's workshop. Let's go the fireworks factory didn't Firebird. work out, so now we're a lab. Oh, what's the story here? Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Butt Butt. I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow, a Great. real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere, nowhere at all. I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the okay. time portal, like a TV set. Only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat. As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great. And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. I have a coin. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Do I get reimbursed for this? Can ah, I submit an expense reimbursement coin, for my five cent contribution? Great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. What? <laughs> Holy goddamn! This shouldn't be happening. Uh, what's with the cyclone? show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal. Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Oh, Once great. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. Okay. Let's go through you the time careful, portal. Put, put, and good luck. Wow. It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality. These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. What are these guys? Looking around in the time continuum. What things have always been. One, two, three, four. North, through, west, to places in time for you. That's where you'll find 
my homework? We feel it sad that your homework is gone and everything's wrong, but it won't be for long. But when, when you, you look, look up, up, you'll see the time doesn't stop because it goes on forever. Goes on forever? Goes on forever. You'll see the old west the blue. The king. And see dinosaurs. And really neat future things. When you return, you'll know what you'll learn. Pay close attention, stay on your mission. To see new dimensions. And, and when you look up, up, you'll know that time doesn't stop. Because it goes on forever with you. I love these little songs that they added in. It's so fun. Okay, should I go to the future first or the past? I'm gonna go from left to right. Whoa, this must be the age of the dinosaurs. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Well, I guess let's go this way and find out. Hello? Wowie zowie. It's a real live Brachiosaurus! Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt Putt. Oh. Gee! If it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? She Not is sassy. Time. Not at all. I like her. I really appreciate it. Thanks. It's with the shapes. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. Whoa, it's a big one. Can I have it? Thanks a lot. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Whoa, it's heavy. Oh, I swap them out. Okay, so I'll only need one, no, I guess. I'm off to explore the whatever I need it for. The dinosaurs. <sighs> Hello, Whoa. I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me. What in the heck is a putt-putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm oh, yeah, because I'm from the I'm future. From the future. Whoa, imagine that. I'm way of glad to meet you. Say, putt, how would you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full uh, speed ahead! Yeah. That was fantastic, stupendous. Putt, you cars from the future sure know oh, hey. how to fix your the shape that I have. Thanks. Well, that works. Uh oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry. Looks like we I need a one. rock shaped like your basic pentagon. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. I think so. Well, what do you know? There we go. Absolutely Can't get any better than that. Thanks a gazillion putt. Well, I'm homeward bound. Come visit any old time you like. Alright, well, let's go this way. Oh, wow. Hello. Look at that. It's an apatosaurus. An itchy and a horribly miserable apatosaurus at the Aww. moment. My name's Putt Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch yes. away this terrible itch. But Can do. I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, please. I okay. sure wish I could get over to the far side of the canyon. Just like right up his tail. And go a little bit down. Oh, just a little lower. 
Oh. Ooh. Now go a bit to the left. Oh, yes. Go a little bit down. Yes. Yes. Go a little to the left. A little more to the left. Oh, yes. You got it. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Thanks. <laughs> cool. That's fun. Face. Zap. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought there would be something like useful over here. Guess not. All right. Well, let's go to the other way, the way that uh, Mr. Wheel was going. Hello, Putt! Hello to you, too! What's up, Putt? What's a car from the future like you doing in a past like this? I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me, too, Putt! I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, it's my history report! It's my history report. I think I better get that Triceratops to move before I pick it up. Excellent idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a Triceratops and his dinner. All right, so I got to get some sort of grass bush somewhere. All right, let's go up. Who's this guy? Hi, Mr. Bird. Want to play a game? No. I don't have time for a game right now. I'm sorry. I need to find my history report. All right, what's over here? Oh, hell. It's a vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Pet Pet. I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so, uh, which one's first? Let's move that one. <gasps> oh, oh no, that's the wrong. Oh. Okay. All right, and then finally that one. Let's move that one. He's like, I already moved this one. What's wrong with you? There you go. All right. We made the picture. I don't get anything from that. Okay, I didn't think so. I All sure right. had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. So I have to get like a bush somewhere? Somehow? Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious primordial soup? Made it myself. Sure. sure, that would be great. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Thanks, like a pri Cat's primordial oh. pouch. 
Okay, let's go to a different era of time and see if I can find a bush there. What about here? I must be oh, there's another rock. Times. Oh no! Sorry! Excuse me, do you need some help? Mm -hmm. My, you are certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car. Technically, you are. My name's Putt Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt Putt. I'm Princess Chassie, and this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. Oh, no. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my there we go. Sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with a blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye. Well, I mean, we're just gonna follow them. Let's go. Wow, this is some castle. Yes, it is. Only the reins have rusted the gates shut. We need okay. something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful. All right, to a different time. <laughs> okay, to do this one. Wowie, zowie. It's the old... It's the old west. What's in here? Hello. Look oh, at can that I have some hay? Pile of hay. Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks. It might oh. come in handy. You never know. Okay, so this is for the history report. A rope. This might come in handy. Look I'm just taking it. It's in the general store. A wagon I'd wheels. Like some chewy fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. I want chewy fruity wagon wheels. That sounds yummy. Junior conductor it needed. Says, junior conductor needed. Five cents. Hey, Sonny, you didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Peak your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. <laughs> All right, well, let's oil him up. A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt Putt. Well, Putt Putt, my partner. So far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. I can go get my wagon wheels. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. On my wagon wheels. Give me my wagon wheels. 
Whack me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Whack me, mama, I any way you feel. Hey, mama, oh, rock great. me. I've got one of those. Here's a nickel for the chewy fruity wagon wheels. Honestly, though, I like can do they sell these? Do they sell Help chewy fruity sell. wagon it's wheels? I want some. A nickel for one? Mm, mm, good. Can I do anything else at the train station? Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about uh, the putting rope. that noggin to work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I, I think so. thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. What? Uh, the rope just got yeeted into next week. Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. I mean, I feel like there might be something that we need to go do. Let's go. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Uh, Gold, Gold River, River here I guess? Here we come. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow. Okay. There's really gold in that river? Uh, what, what's that to say? What's that? Can I get a hold of a splinter? Use some tweezers if you can find any. Otherwise, I just pull them out with my teeth. I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang blam it! It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Can I have the keys? Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good for nothing keys, is all. You never know, they might be good for something. Alright. I guess that's all we need from here. Let's go Hot to the desert. Dry. It's the desert. Would you look at that? Animal tracks. I wonder where they go. Is this just following the tracks? Is that what we're doing here? Wowie zowie. A real mountain lion. All right, well, let's go somewhere else. Hubcap Hill, Guess here we, we here. come. Hey, give me my calculator. my calculator. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the keys are for. Uh -oh. It's okay, we have keys. Which key should I use? Uh, I think it was this one. Hmm. Yeah. Calculadora! Give. Give calculator. Excellent! I've got my calculator back. Now all I have to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Alright, well let's go. Let's all go aboard for the old rock mine. 
Is there anything that I need in here? Doesn't look like I can do anything there. All right, I think we are station. Gateway to the old west. Done here. Time to go back and get our history report and then back to the medieval times. All righty, we have made it back to the Triceratops. She likes it. Bet your sweet little hubcaps he likes it. I'm telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. Here you go, boy. Get some more so you can get off my report. Oh my goodness. There we go. Great! Now I can get my history report. Nice. Alrighty, let's go back to the medieval times now. Now all I have to do is get Pep and my lunchbox. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Almost there. Here we go. This should help open that rustic gate. Putt-putt, now we won't be late for story time. Yay! It's over here. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt-putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. That's my lunchbox. It's my lunchbox. Sir Blaze, that is extremely impolite. Give the little fellow his lunchbox, please. Wow. I am terribly sorry about my dragon. He's a bit out of sorts today. He hasn't had a morsel of dragon food to eat all day. Do you think if I dragon found him some food. dragon food, he'd trade it for my lunchbox? <laughs> what the I heck is dragon food? Interpret that as a yes. May I help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks. <laughs> Merida, how do I find dragon food? Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. Oh, that sounds like The Royal fun. Joke Book, huh? Hmm. Now, which one shall I read? What falls in the winter but never gets hurt? I have no idea. Leaves? Snow. Snow. <laughs> Put, put, I'm so happy you joined us for story time. Me too. Thanks. All right. Well, let's go to the future and see if there's dragon food in the future. Whoa, this must be the future. I wonder what year it is. Here goes. Like an escalator. Uh. <laughs> pet food maker. Petorama. To make it yourself, pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed. 
and then pressing the food button. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Bet this is where we'll get the dragon food! Oh, okay, we have to make the cat food. We gotta give the cat some food. Your food will be ready momentarily. <laughs> Special delivery! Insta food! Give it to the kitty. Okay, so I can just feed it, like, infinitely. All right, dragon food. Your order has been acknowledged and accepted. <laughs> Great! Dragon food! I think I know someone who will appreciate this. I think we do. All right, let's get out of here. What's over here? Oh, I can get painted! Oh. What's this? Now, aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What yes. What can I do to help you? My name's Putt Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. What kind of machine is this? First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, why, that's a battery-making machine. You can help me make some if you like. Wow, that sounds like fun. Well, would you look at that? Okay, Pot Pot. You can make a battery with 11 volts. It's just like an addition game. With five volts. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of 11. Yeah, it's just counting game. Five plus six equals 11. 11. Volts. That's it! 11 volts of power. I'm all done, Miss Electra. Thanks, Pot Pot. Well, would you look at that? Let's get painted. I want to be red this time. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. Cute. Paint over experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Let's go uh, over here. To get over there. Okay, all right, hang on. Woo, I, I did, did it! it Pep. We're together again. Now hop Yay. in and let's get going. 
Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. I think we know how to do that. We are on mission feed dragon. Here you go. Here, dragon, dragon, dragon. Look what I have. Oh my goodness, he was hungry. No kidding. Everything I needed to get. Come on, Pep. Let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. Let's do it. Guess what? I did. Oh, we met. I found all my things. <laughs> and Pep too. Congratulations, Jinx. Pep, you owe me a coke. I you would. Now I can finally show you my new school supplies. Excellent, Putt Putt. But first, I must close the time portal for good. <laughs> we don't need any more disasters. I don't know disasters? if that's going to work the way you think it's going to work, but okay. That, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Oh right. no! You're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll Let's go to school. Report later. Here's okay, so yeah, report. canonically, like in school. Okay, okay. My my question has been now answered. Let me tell you what I learned. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nostalgia. Puppet traveled through time. We went to the past, present, and future. Got to go to the Wild West. Got to go to medieval times, the dinosaur age, and even the future. I will admit this one still isn't my favorite. It was fun to go through and experience again, but I think I'll stick with Puppa Saves the Zoo if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Now, my question for you guys today is, if you could travel through time, would you go to the past or the future? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out the next time I upload a video and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye!